Well, you don't have to give up your favorite comfort foods to eat better. Here with her cauliflower creations is Abby Sharp. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Cauliflower, cauliflower. Is it? So hot right now, and yeah. it's come a long way since being that bland, boring vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Right? I felt, yeah, my mother put too much butter on oh, it. Oh, yeah. It didn't taste very good. Right. But so you can start with cauliflower rice. And what's the deal with that? So basically, it's a great low carb swap for everything from rice, couscous, all those kinds of grains. Right. All you need to do. Pop this into the food processor, pulse it until it gets nice, kind of this like and fine consistency. Like this. Look at Nobody that. Nobody even knows. Not even the kids. No one even knows. And that's, okay, and from this, you're going to make a couple of recipes. Exactly. Beautiful. So we're going to do some cauliflower latkes first. Oh, good. A family favorite in my home. So I've got two cups of the pulsed cauliflower rice. I've just squeezed out some of that moisture because we want to get these nice and crispy brown. Oh, okay. And I just put uh, about a half a cup of some caramelized onion in here. We've got a quarter cup of whole grain breadcrumbs. I'm sorry, is there a lot of water in this? There is. Huh? Well, it, I mean, uh, uh, it is a vegetable, so yeah. there is a lot there of moisture. Water. I can feel that. And yeah. I just feel like, you know, you can get rid of that and have a nice crispier texture. Yeah. And we've got some uh, parsley, some thyme, a little egg here. We're just going to bind that all together. Salt, just a touch. Mix this bad boy up. And you know, traditionally with latkes, you, you pan fry in like a vat of oil and you smell like a fast food joint for a week after. But <laughs> I find a nonstick skillet with just a little bit of, uh, this is an oil atomizer. I love this. Let's just take the lid off so okay. we can get this pumped up. So just um, a little bit. You keep, the, you, keep the, you keep the fan going real strong. Well, it's yeah. Like, oh. you know, you're at an airport, the fan's really going strong, right? To get the, the smell out of there. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, I would just pop these. Once I get a little bit of oil in that pan, I would just say, you know, you want to put a little bit. You can decide how big you want to do big ones, small ones. Pop this and get them nice and golden brown on each side into that nonstick skillet like that. So what's binding them is the egg. It's really the sticking it really together. The egg is really all you need there. Yeah. And a little bit of those breadcrumbs just help to bring it all together. Right. And as you can see, I've topped mine off with a little bit of fat-free plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream and some unsweetened applesauce as well. Oh, that's nice. That's right? nice. Right? So Keeping it, it light. Yeah. Keeping it light. Now, now, why is cauliflower so darn good? Well, <laughs> it's like it great. It's is. great. It's high in fiber, obviously. We've got some nice vitamin C, some B vitamins. And it's part of that cruciferous vegetable group. Mm -hmm. um, so although it does smell a little bit, mm -hmm. um, it does have some, mate, perhaps some anti-cancer properties. So okay, we love the cauliflower. All right. And way lower in calories than your rice or your potatoes, right. which we're right. substituting here. I love that. I love that. I love latkes, but that's because of that. Right. I, go, I get so You don't it's go for it as often. Right. But now we've got dessert. Dessert pizza. You probably never thought you could make dessert with No, I didn't, Abby, but talk me into it. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the rice thing again here. We've got three cups of rice, uh, the cauliflower rice. Right. Again, squeeze that moisture out. Um, I have some, a little bit of cocoa powder because we're going to do a chocolate crust. Chocolate, really? it's gluten-free, so I'm swapping that traditional crust for a little bit of a, a gluten-free cauliflower almond chocolate crust. Oh, that's going to be Touch of honey. Yeah. Egg. Again, we need that egg to bind. Mm -hmm. Some cinnamon, some nutmeg. And this is, of course, some uh, almond flour. I love this because it's gluten-free. It's got the fiber, protein, healthy fats. So it's really going to keep you feeling full. So you can have, like, a slice and maybe not the whole pie in one sitting. Right. But if you do have the whole pie, you know, no one's going to judge you. It's very healthy for you. <laughs> No judging. You no know, judging. nobody else has to know. Exactly. That, that almond flour, that's a good idea. Where else can I put that almond flour? Oh my goodness. I use it for everything, all my baking, because if you want to make it gluten free, you want to add some fiber, some healthy fats to keep you feeling satiated. Yeah. That's a great substitute. Is the measuring the same? It's, sl it's slightly different, okay. but, uh, but you know, you'll, 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 you'll find you might need to add a little more egg or a okay. little bit more liquid. Okay. So oh. we basically, we're going to just flatten this bad, bad boy out into a. Um, into a 450 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes until okay. it gets kind of nice and crisp and golden. You can see you've got a little bit of browning it around the sides really there. Great. Yeah. So I'm just going to flatten this guy out. Okay. And this is the fun part. Now, of course, my hands are going to be a big old mess. Oh, don't worry about it. I got tells. But, uh, no, you got tells. But, okay. but you know what we're talking about. Part. You know what we're talking about. This is what I like. So get the kids involved, right? We've got some natural almond butter. So when it comes out of the oven, mm -hmm. you go, look at that chocolate deliciousness. Got this. You got this chocolate cauliflower crust. So we've got some yummy uh, almond butter. That's our sauce. See, when you have kids and they're picky, yeah. you camouflage the food as well. You do. You do you it. You just make it up. You go, no, this is you good. You make it work. You make it work. Make and, it work. and I mean, if kids think they're getting pizza, 
Yeah. And it's healthy and it's dessert. They're like, yeah, I'm sure. No, super don't say excited. healthy. No, you don't need to tell them it's healthy. Do not say healthy. Don't say. Don't say the big H word. Don't. Because I that know. is the key, it and they will run word. for the hills. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So yeah. look at this, though. But all this is. Color, it's just like Natasha fruit. was talking about. You know, the strawberries. Yeah. You know, that's all good. Yes. Good stuff for and you. And play with it. You know, if you have different fruits in the house, if you got mm -hmm. your kids are picky about what fruits they like, just let them. You know, let them choose. Let them pick and choose, and get. You know, let them decorate with this you. This is fun. And what's that you're out Toasted of? coconut. So crunchy. Because you want a little texture in there, yeah, right? Yeah, I like that. Love it. And then I'm just going to take this spoon here. And Dark is, chocolate. Okay, that's good to know. That's right? healthy. Antioxidants, yeah, right? right? We love it. We love the chocolate. So a little drizzle right on top there. <laughs> Nobody would know. See, yep. you're, add yourself, you're great. You're great. And so good. Now, let's just say this very quickly. When you are uh, using the, the, the blender, yes. you just have to pulse it to yes. get it to the consistent, get the water out of it. What yes. else do we need to know? I always say get that water out, so squeeze it, whether you put it into a cheesecloth or right. into like a little fine sieve, and just, just get a little pressure because you want to get nice and crisp. Right. You want to get nice crisp latkes. Um, and yes, so pulse. Don't just like push go and walk away because you'll, okay. you'll end up with puree. Okay, we don't want that. Abby, thank you so much. Recipes on Maryland.ca. Thank you. We've got to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Friday on Maryland, beauty expert Jill Dunn gives you a look at the fast track favorites to smoother skin. Then Alexis Hans pulls off a stunning makeover with a twist that you can't miss. Plus, music superstar Carrie Underwood is here. Take, Maryland is all new Friday.